Right, what is going on guys? Welcome to the first episode of my FIFA 19 Sunderland Road to Glory career mode. Oh, come on guys. Guys, Bradford did win their game. So now look how tight that promotion race is now. Four teams battling for two spots. We've got the final home game of the season against Portsmouth. God, see it. And because our Oxford actually, actually did want to lose their game. So now because of that, we're now top. So guys, I've just found our score for Bradford actually playing each other. So that is a massive lifeline. Like we we need them to draw in their game for us to go up. Yeah, we, yeah. We we need we need we need we need Bradford score up the draw for us to go up and off the Oxford score doesn't matter. But guys, score for Bradford that is about to draw. And we beat Porter if then we're up. So now I'm having him defend against. Go on, Will Greg. Go on, Greg. Get in, Greg. Come on, son. One nil, Sunderland. Sixty-one minutes in. Will Greg. Goal number is that, is that goal? No, that's, that, that's goal number nineteen. I pulled number twenty. Number nineteen. As I suppose one to look. Five and a half the goal. Come on, lads. I finally broken them down. Some of the fans. It's, it's okay. It's mere celebrations. Oh, come on. Okay. Let's have a look. What a ball from uh, is that Maguire? Yeah, it was Chris Maguire. What a ball from him. Great, lovely touch. And bang it in the bottom corner. We're not, we're not, we're not right in the corner, but you know, you know what I mean. One or something. Come on, lads. Oh, guys, I think we're going up. Have we been promoted? We've been promoted, guys. Get in, lads. We're going up, lads. Getting promotion to the championship. By the salty 1 0 win against Portsmouth, who probably should deserve something because they've been some fucking annoying people this game. But, guys, we are back in the championship. The first attempt. Oh my god! I th at least think I said at least think I said oh my god like when when was last season like last FIFA. Well, there we go, guys, that is done. We are definitely more. It's come for Bradford. Most of the has a draw. Won the league. I'm going to let it up. At the end, well, we're, we're celebrating again. But I'm not really that. I'm not. I'm not really that big celebrating because you know I, because I already knew this coming before the game even started. So. This camera guy getting a picture of Oviedo and Gucci celebrating. I mean, you know them too. They've been at the club for so long now. Not, not, not long, long, but long enough to know how much this means to everyone, the fans and all that. Oh, but I'm not doing, I'm not doing, I'm not doing the same celebration before. It doesn't matter. We are, we are the champions of League One. It's a massive achievement. That here we are, lads. The league presentation here. Linden Gooch didn't. I, 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 I don't think that he expected them um, to be doing this at the end of the season. When his season's first started, Lee Catamull. He's, he's been captain, obviously, but was captain of the second team for a while. We've got here's the main man, Lyndon Gooch. You know, he's, de he's definitely been one of my favorite season. Oh, here we go. Oh! Oh, hey, there we go, lads. We are, let's confess that we are champions of League One. Josh Cullen, he stuck the cross out, the queuing up, and Paul Church have won again for Thorsten! Patrick Bauer! <sighs> We're going to, have to do it all over again. Hello, guys, and welcome to the first episode of my FIFA 20 Sunderland career mode. Guys, it's been yet another year, and there is a new FIFA out to play. Um, we're currently on early access right now, so that means that um, there may be a little bit of a gap um, between one a couple of episodes in the series. Obviously, it just depends how many, how many episodes I'm, I do manage to grind out on the access before I do have to get the disc version. And um, so, um, yeah, so I just hopped on it now. I downloaded it last night, and so guys, it looks amazing. Obviously, I've already played the bit, I played the demo, so I've got a little bit of um, experience already. And also, from, going on from Twitter as well, there's been a lot of people. Well, it's it sort of as as a quite good, but then it's, it could be quite good. But then there are I've heard a lot of people saying that can back bug out, which is obviously is natural. You know, to early access, so obviously it's natural for the bug out. But you know, when I when I had the beta, it didn't really lag out that much. So hopefully, it doesn't do it for for this one. So it's gonna be episode one of Sunderland, and hope you guys did enjoy that little intro there, which I put together. I mean, that was gonna be the trailer, but I just kind of didn't want to make sure I thought I was put on the sort of um, this thing. So this is it, we are in the preseason tournament, and um, I'll quickly read out the groups. We've got so then we've got Charlton. Nice. We've got Heracles, Almelo, and Livorno. I'm pretty sure I actually had Heracles last year, if I'm not mistaken. I mean obviously I don't 
obviously I don't have that good memory, but I think I might have done, you know. Anyway, here is the starting 11 that we'll be going with, at least for now. So we've got John McLaughlin in goal, um, or 9, Willis, Ozturk and Hume in the back four. Gooch, a little bit of Dobson, McGeady and Maguire as I'm five midfielders. Um, Maguire is more of like a cam there. I'm doing McNulty up front. Um, I've got Ledbert and Dobson, even though they're basically both um, defensive midfielders. But, um, I think, in case in real life, um, they are sitting, I think, a bit too back on my liking. So, so I've got to push, push up just a little bit on there. On um, the bench, we've got Burge, Conor McLaughlin, Tom Flanagan, Max Power, Dylan McGeoch, Charlie White, and Will Grave. On the reserves, um, so you see, um, this isn't the complete updated, updated version, so we, so we still have Louvins and Jack Baldwin. Um, I have put Baldwin up for, up for loan list, and so he, he will be loaned out. And Louvins, his contract expires at the end of the season anyway, and he's going to retire, so I'm not going to leave him there, but I'm just not going to use him. Apart from we've got Bainbridge in his first ever FIFA, we've got um, Michael Collins, Summit, Watmore, Mumba. Robson, Embleton, and Kid Bjorka. And I've also make, made a second team as well to quickly show off now. I've got Burge and Goal, McLaughlin, Collins, Flanagan, Hume, Kid Bjorka, Power, McGeoch, Watmore, Greg and White. Um, in terms of things, since we don't actually have Joel Lynch or Lawrence the Bock, um, I actually am going to be looking for a brand new centre back, maybe a promising one that, that's actually decent overall. I don't actually want I'm going to go and uh, quickly scout the Bock as well, so we can maybe get him on the loan as well. I mean, I mean, I mean, like I could have just went um, went into like um the thing and just transfer transfer the over, but that's for God, to be honest with you. So we're gonna have the bot, we're gonna scout here, maybe pick him up in eleven days time. But until then, we do have a preseason tournament um to get into. We'll quickly have a look at the um expectations that we have of us. So youth development, uh, we've got quite a lot to do here. We've got the sign one youth 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 player, um, and then we've got a um. Dude, and um, play him out of five overall points, play him in five matches, whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have one crucial first team players assigned to a midfielder or forward position. I might actually go for a forward, you know, just because, well, I don't know, I, I think I think we've got quite a lot of midfielders. I mean, I'll obviously have to look into it, but um, gonna, there is no contest of success, I can't speak. League one, we we'll have to win the league, that should be doable. Um, and we've got the reach round of 32 in the FA Cup, which could be a bit of a challenge because we do start, I think it's on round two in this. Okay, I'm after. Check. I don't. I don't. I don't know the draw being made yet. But that's basically it. And um, my, my manager. I should get my manager. So this is. Oh, where, where's he at? I was going to edit manager here. So this is my manager here, and I'll zoom in a little bit. That's him there. He's got. Not. That's, that's not. That's not me. That's not what I look like in real life. But I kind of wish it was. To be honest here. Um. Decent hair. Nice tan. Red and white. Obviously, red and white tie, and a nice sort of something emblem on his uh, blazer there. Black suit. That's all you want, really. And yeah, that's, that's basically just it, John. So yeah, I'm not going to set up... Actually, yeah, I'll set up the youth academy while I'm here, just because just, just you know I'm here. I don't want to turn up the money on one, though. You might just go for this guy, Charles Roberts. I mean, like I'm not expecting too much from the youth academy. I mean, I mean we'll, we'll send him for for nine months, see what see what he gets up to during that time. But yeah, guys, we're four minutes in. I'm, 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 I haven't even started the, um, the whole season yet, so we should be getting into it, shouldn't we, really? You know, obviously, you guys know, obviously, at the start of um, our new, um, new FIFA, there's always, like, a long intro, usually at the start, as well as the intro which I'm in myself, so this going to be a pretty long intro before before we even get in the second of, uh, second of, uh, what's call it? And my captain, um, oops, a daisy, so, because I'm second team on Max Power, well, I'm actually my captain, I tell you what, no offence Max Power, Jesus Christ, what is that? This, jeez, I'm sorry, Max. But that's not that's not very good. Greetings, boss. On behalf of the whole team, I'd like to give you a warm welcome at Sunderland. Um, I'm excited about the future. We've got work to do next week too. I'm, I'm I'm excited about the future. Oh crap! Pressed the wrong one. Nice one. Glad to start. Uh, yeah, I think my captain, my, my main captain is Led Bear. And as you can see there, I'm on first team. I think it's just kind of I'm a second team. Open, so we've got Max Power, and he's happy. That's nice to see. Finally, we've got our first game of the season. The Her Heracles at home. I'm sitting in all um, pre-season games, there's no time to them at all, and we lost 3-1. I, I forgot to mention, obviously, that um, simulations are hot, um, they skip automatically. But yeah, 3-1 defeat, that's actually really, really um, worrying, I'm not going to lie. And um, hopefully that won't affect us too much. Uh, yeah, 3-1 defeat. Not the best, and we've got Livorno who beat Charlton, or at least Charlton lost. That's all that matters, really. First chance off it is a Tom Flanagan, as much as I'd love to sell them, I just, I'm not going to, because I don't need the squad death. And then I don't, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, and I think I'll quit going to Squad Hub right now. 
I'm not going to the last part, but look, look how they were part of the ear because they made our kids look so much better than what they actually are in real life. I mean, um, he's constantly wake it yet, yeah, but they, they make it look so nice in this game. I thought our home kit like looks horrendous in real life, I think, but in, in, in FIFA it actually looks all right. So that's that's uh, that's all right. But yeah, we've got a lot of centre backs going on here. But yeah, I think I think I will go for first team striker. Obviously, we do have McNulty. Um, and I'll be doing these guys as well, but you know, it wouldn't hurt just having another one, or maybe I could go for, could go for another midfielder, but it needs to be. But you know, that that that, that can oh, oh, pardon me, sorry about that, but yeah, that, that can always happen in January. I'll, I'll, I'll try to do it straight away, I'm just do that whenever I can across the season. The one or where we're gonna stop, go, we're gonna go to the second team for this one. Hopefully, they can pull off some sort of result here. Different team hopefully won't make a difference. It, oh. With, did I say a movie won't make a difference? I meant, I meant to say the other way, but 1 2 1 there. Greg and Maguire both getting goals. And, um, Pochino got to go for Livorno, but Flanking got sent off. How can you get sent off in a pre season game? Like, how do you even manage that? Honestly, yeah, that, that, that's, that's Flanking now, suspended. That's brilliant. Now we've got Charlton. Hopefully, um, Heracles can do us a favour by beating Livorno so we can go through in second place. Because I, because I believe we're still on um, negative goal difference. Charlton at home, can we get revenge for last season? Hopefully we can. Come on. 4 1, that's all I want to say. And also, that look bottom corner. Hercules smack the ball on a 4 0. So, guys, we will be going through to knock our rounds in the Pitton tournament. What a result that is. That's absolutely amazing. Jesus Christ. I uh, got some more information there. Finally, we should be back from suspension. Yes, he is. I'm also got to find Kier. I know to, 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 uh, to the transfer budget, that's good. So, uh, we've got a game against Muscon, but we should have our Debock scout report back, we do. Thank you, Joel Edwards, my, my chief scout. And so we'll go and look in the box, maybe just maybe get him alone, just because he's a normal in real life. What's that? We'll have to see though. So, 6 7 overall, that's, that's a decent overall. Come again, even left minute as well, come again on the loan maybe. But can't. So, we're also going to buy him. He's got 7 quick here. Which is quite a bit, but we and you're like we've got like four and a half million, maybe it won't be too bad. And you're like on manager, he looks awesome, I think. Um, can we maybe get like a little discount? <laughs> we'll go a bit low. We'll six fifty. See what they say about that. Well, the hunters no straight away. So, uh, I don't sound close. Not a thing. Um, okay, we'll go for seven hundred goods. We'll go seven hundred k then. See what you want. Leads. And they'll accept that. Fair enough, I mean. But yeah, look at which 15 and a half grand, Jesus Christ, like for a backup left back in the championship. That's a lot of money, oh my word. Dear God. Yeah, I don't, I, I'm going to point, I don't want to get him crucial. I really don't, like, I'm not, like he's, not, he's not even bothered either, so. Uh, I'll give him a two-year two deal, I'm not really, hope, I'm not really wanting him for too long. Obviously, just maybe hopefully this season, maybe the season after as well. Wage. We're gonna we're gonna have a little born with a seventeen. Um. See, looks like that. See, we're going with more than well. Yeah, it's more than always on. So, I would accept that. So, guys, so our first signing of the cream mod is a player who's already at Sunderland, but we've had to re-sign him for purposes. Lawrence the Bock, and he's gonna go straight now. Starting start eleven, because he's our best left back. Well, our best natural left back. That's how I'm gonna put it. Oh my god, so glitchy when you when you're like when you're like moving the players, I'm so glitchy, oh my word. But then again, it, it is only early access, so I'm not really expecting too much out of it. We do have a game with Muscle, and I will be just I will, be, I will just be using my first team from now on. The Bok, he's got number three. You know, we we don't have Lynch, so you can have number three. I would have given them number three in first place anyway. Two old job, but they've won on penalties. Big shame, you know, at least I've got the semi finals at least, but um, yeah, I mean, I was watching Big Jam Sarney's um, creating one yesterday, and he actually lost in. I actually lost in the semi finals as well, so I'm not too bothered. I'm going an extra 700 grand there. Uh, Andrew Granada's got too much suspension, Matthew. That's only in pre season, shouldn't affect the actual season ahead. So, this is the league table. Um, Bury are still in the game, RIP Bury. But you know what? When we play Bury, I mean, it'll be a nice time. But then, yeah, I think Bury's team will just be full of like, um, all my, like just unknown players because that's what it was in the um, beta. Bolton and Bury both had like just like half empty teams. Basically, what it was. Um, so I'm not set report back yet. I mean, I mean, like it was quite a big task in fairness. 
But yeah, I, I'm not going to keep everyone apart from Bossy Baldwin's 20 pm. I'm not going to get rid of it at the minute just because obviously it's up to you set to the mountain low, maybe. Just, just, just because I see, like, especially in the lower league, squad depth is important. So I, I do want to keep as many players as I can. Uh, look, nine, I'm going to keep him. He's our best right back. Sorry, Connor, for coughing, but yeah, you're not the best player. So, guys, we'll just, we'll just come a quick look at the, uh, the scout report now, see if, if, he's, if he's got anyone yet. No one found? Eh? What do you mean, got no one found? I haven't just sent off, haven't I? Oh my fuck. I didn't even fucking send him the goal of Connor. Oh my god. Oh my god, I didn't, I didn't even make him go to Crunchy. Jesus, I'm actually an idiot. I'm actually an idiot. I thought I got a notification saying, oh yeah, you've done it. You've turned them away. Frick's sake. What a waste of time that is. Oh well. Doesn't matter. We don't, we don't have we don't have MMA big game until the uh, Carabao Cup, I believe. So. Oh, so frustrating though. Connect. Good. So now, so now I guess we're just going to simulate until the, uh, until the Oxford game. There it is, um, we drew with them 1-1 one, one. in real life, it was a pretty poor game, I'm not going to lie, the first game of the season was pretty awful. Wolfie, we can avenge, there is some team in this career mode. In the last year, I had a horrid start in the season, but hopefully this year we're going to do a bit better. And then these two guys aren't that good enough, so we're just going to keep on going. If we've got Oxford at home, let's see what's going on. Oh, I've, I've got our first pre-match press conference, let's, uh, let's attend the conference. Oh, yeah, I've already done this crap on the bit, so I do know a bit what's going on. I think I've polished it a little bit. So then run a form pre season left fans want to offer more of the same and want to start to get serious. How does it impact the squad ahead of the first competitive match? Um have faith, I've got the quality, working hard every day. Uh, if we're working hard every day, we'll say that. Still still content, team morale, but you know, there's multiple questions, so I hope you'll be happy. Because obviously in this career mode, team morale is important, especially player morale. Because because a player can start playing badly, he has bad morale, which makes career mode a lot harder to shift, a lot easier to get sacked as well. Does the team have what it takes to win the league? Title is requirement. Well, it is. I, I can't say it's not, since we are the biggest club in the league. I mean, we are bigger than some championship clubs as well. So, I mean, the box um, debut. Um, what if I thought it debut against Oxford United? He'll be the right man. That, that's quite a bit of boost for him. But you know, it'll make him, it'll make him like, at least try for the Oxford game. And hopefully he can get on. That's going to be all the questions. That's a pretty, it was a pretty good press conference. I'm pretty sure it's going to be the same. I would go on. Um, we're not going to do all of them. Just because, you know, it'll be a complete waste of time. It'll just be the same crap all over again. Got an notification from Will Grigg. He's saying, I've been in pretty good form lately. And I'm feeling good. So I hope you're not going to bench me for the game against Oxford United. Um, there's big games ahead. I'll tell them. I mean, like, I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll just lie straight to the face. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, like, I mean like, we'll bring them on. Um, if we need to be against Oxford, here we go. As Oxford United at home, we've got the stop. We've got the usual team. Everyone's pretty happy right now. Everyone's in good form. Let's get let's get in this one. Come on, boys. I'm, I'm so excited for this. And I'll show you guys the wicket while I'm here as well. Actually, so there's one get Look at the wicket. The wicket looks so much nicer. This game because because again like, um, you can actually like see like some like black actually in the kit like I, I, I don't know I don't know it has to get a glitch but I think it looks pretty nice. So regular home kit is that is that Maguire that that that's, that's Chris Maguire. What why is it look like why is it look so fat in this game? They got we got David Rock, the referee. This game oh I'm so excited guys. I mean like hopefully we actually win the opening game because last year against Charlton. We didn't win, we lost. I think it was, was a 2 0 we lost, so I think it was because because I didn't actually score to the Luton game, but we actually smashed Luton. <sighs> this is it, guys. This is where it all starts in McGeady. There you go, guys. Same with like lovely sunny opening day, just like it was in real life. Obviously, the East End getting all the sun. Um, the new uh, the new game graphic things. Look at that. Same with light. Looks, looks a bit different in FIFA. Like, I don't remember. Obviously, obviously, they haven't obviously updated the, um, the CD room, obviously. It's still got all around the stadium, but like at least not pink. Like it's actually, it's actually red team. Here we go, guys. We can only kick things off. Let's go. Oh yes, I'm already got to play them off the head. I don't have to change that. That's even better. Come on. Like I know McNulty, Maguire, a lot faster than what they are in FIFA so far. But yeah, they feel like quite a lot slow. That was oh my, what was that Gooch heap? He now pass it to Henry. Henry, good save, McLaughlin. McLaughlin, get back. Henry, he had time there. The box was nowhere near him. 
Oh, another lucky from Ledbetter. Now it's half time. It's nil nil so far. Yet the fans are not happy. It's been a pretty poor second half. So first half so far. There are all the score lines. Um, that no one scored two goals. Tranmere winning. Wickham are winning. Portsmouth winning. For Christ's sake. Um, that's that. That's it. Everyone else is drawn. Only three games have actually got. Most of them actually leading. Uh, we'll keep we'll keep like that for now, and obviously we're gonna bring on someone in the second half. But come on, lads, better second half. Here goes Woodburn. Chuck goes to McLaughlin. No, Mourinho makes it one 0 to Oxford. Oh, I mean, I, I mean, I knew he was coming. Oxford, they, they, they've been fantastic so far in this game. I mean, I mean, it was a good first time for McLaughlin, but there was no one there to get the rebound in the box. I mean, like in fairness, he, like in fairness, like he used more cross than we should have done. But I don't know what Ozturk was there. What referee? Are you telling me that's not a foul? He's got no one up the field, man. Greg, Randy Maguire again. Maguire for one one. Foot one one. What a finish, Chris Maguire. I'll stop goal scoring in real life. Get to get our first goal of the career, man. That was a fine strike from King Chris Maguire. A good ball from from Greg. Nice hold up there. Um, as Maguire passed to Greg. That's a good ball from Greg there. He plays through with Maguire again. That's a fantastic finish. One all, get in. That's fantastic stuff there. Thank, fully went up behind for much longer. And maybe we're not going to actually maybe push on to get the winner. Nick, Nick, go on, go on, Greg. Good ball, Greg with the run. Come on, out of time. Go on, Greg. Shoot. Oh, what was that? Yep. See, look, I'm getting frustrated there, but will Greg go on to start the game? I brought you on the second half substitution. You, sh you should, you should put that away, man. That was oh, we should have scored. That was poor. Poor, do I was such a good talk. You know what? I'll tell you, I'll take a draw. Especially since um, Oxford literally played like Barcelona in that, in that game. 1 0 draw, the fans are not, not impressed. I'm not impressed either. Like, that could have been so much better. Balsall could have been so much worse as well. But yeah, James Henry did not have a good game. Look at that, man. We were absolutely outnumbered. That was nearly. They, we, they, they had three times as many shots as what we had. Well, actually, they did, but. Well, I'm going for for post to interview. I'm 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 I might do like, like maybe one like maybe like once a month, and then obviously like and obviously cup finals. So so obviously we get that far. I don't think we will, but you never know. Why why is my guy look so sad? Look at him, man. So the Monarchs have won. The best. Is your draw the debut a good enough result to please you? What well, well, kind of can't say we got absolutely battered. Um. My joy is in the world. Uh, I just want to focus. Yes, I just want to focus. I mean, we've got Ipswich next, which is going to be a tough game, but hopefully we can get swing in that. <laughs> the Bok. If I was yeah, the Bok had a good game. Like, like I mean, like Maguire scored, but I'll say the Bok was probably my man in the match. Also, John McLaughlin as well. In fairness, both of them did really, really well. See how I brought him in there. He had, he had a really good debut. The Bok. I'm really impressed with him. He had, he had a great game. Is Conor McLaughlin in danger of losing the submissions in the squad? No. He's, it's, it's one game in, man. Jesus, leave us alone. Form of the time we get to play. Um, I'm a bit lying for a recent form. Hopefully, I'll boost it a little bit so I'm content. But, you know, maybe Mario maybe 09 didn't really do much in that game. He, could have, he lost the ball several positions. So that's a gooch. So, so, we, so you know, we, we could be playing one more on McLaughlin in the next game against Ipswich. Oh, what achievement, guys. Explorer. Attend both both a pre match and post conference match. That's good. Um, will Greg? Um, hi Gaffer. I really appreciate you listening to me and getting me out there to play while I'm in form. In fact, for form, I'm gonna say keep it up. You know, like you, I'm, I'm mean, like you could have won us the game at the end and you didn't. So that's been one of the reasons why you didn't do as well. But that guy is watching conclude episode one. Um, it did not nothing happen much. Obviously, we did it. We we did our, our first game in there. But that was all right. We had 19, which are not great at all. We're very, we're actually very at bottom. I'm not surprised. There. Our next game is a win. It's which who I believe won. Yeah, it's just second. Pause for fuck's sake. Why pause for first? But guys, I will complete that one. Hope you did enjoy. If you did, then be sure to hit the like button. If you are here, then feel free to uh, to, to, to subscribe and now um, tell me if you want to miss a video. And yeah, cheers, awesome guys. See you next time.